how would you like to have the sun here with us on Earth? If you think that is an outlandish idea that can never happen, China is here to prove you wrong. The nation has just replicated the star at the center of the solar system by producing a new nuclear sun. But how does China's new nuclear sun replica work? But more importantly, is China biting off more than it can chew and should you be afraid of things getting out of hand? The sun is a source of life. Lying at the heart of the solar system, it is by far the largest object. It accounts for 99.8% of the solar system's mass. With a diameter that's roughly 109 times the diameter of the Earth, the sun can contain about 1 million of our planets. The surface of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 5,500 degrees Celsius. But the core is far hotter, reaching more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit or 15 million degrees Celsius. One would need to explode 100 billion tons of dynamite every second to match the energy produced by the sun. The sun is one of more than 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. It orbits some 25,000 light years from the galactic core, completing a revolution once every 250 million years. Where stars are concerned, the sun is relatively young, part of a generation of stars known as Population 1, which are relatively rich in elements heavier than helium. It was born about 4.6 billion years ago. However, it has enough fuel to stay active for another 5 billion years. The sun's surface emits about 63 million watts of energy per square meter. By the time the energy reaches the Earth after traveling 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles, it has diminished to 1,370 watts per square meter at the top of the atmosphere directly facing the sun. However, China apparently is not satisfied with the amount of energy it gets from the sun, so it is creating one in its own backyard. And it's more than five times hotter than the actual sun. However, all this sun replication comes with a huge bill, one trillion dollars. Before we go into how China's artificial sun works, why is the country building one? The aim is to deliver near limitless clean energy by mimicking the natural reactions occurring within stars. The artificial sun uses the same method as the original sun to produce energy, the holy grail of clean energy production. This is because the process requires no fossil fuels and leaves behind no hazardous waste materials, unlike the nuclear fission process that powers commercial nuclear energy production. Researchers also claim that there is far less risk of an environmental disaster. So how does China's artificial sun work? It works just like the sun. The solar energy reaching you on Earth is created by nuclear fusion taking place in the sun. Nuclear fusion occurs when protons of hydrogen atoms violently collide in the sun's core and fuse to create a helium atom. This process, known as PP or proton-proton chain reaction, emits stupendous energy. Deep within its core, the sun fuses about 620 million metric tons of hydrogen every second. The reaction is possible thanks to the extreme pressure and temperature within the core, estimated to be the equivalent of 250 billion atmospheres, or 25.33 trillion kilopascals and 15.7 million Kelvin, respectively. The net result is the fusion of four protons or hydrogen nuclei into one alpha particle. Two protons and two neutrons bound together into a particle identical to a helium nucleus. Two positrons are released from this process as well as two neutrinos, which changes two of the protons into neutrons and energy. China's sun was able to superheat a loop of plasma to five times hotter than the sun for more than 15 minutes. The reactor, known as EAST or Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, maintained a temperature of 158 million degrees Fahrenheit or 70 million degrees Celsius for 1,056 seconds. The scientific community lauded this achievement because it's a significant step closer to the creation of a source of near-unlimited clean energy. EAST took the record from France's Tor Supra Tokamak in 2003, in which plasma in a coiling loop maintained similar temperatures for 390 seconds. Meanwhile, EAST had set another record a year ago when it ran for 101 seconds at 216 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 120 million degrees Celsius. Replicating the sun is no small task because you are attempting to recreate the conditions inside the sun and other powerful stars. The EAST uses the tokamak design. A tokamak is a machine that uses magnetic fields to confine a plasma in a donut shape that scientists call a torus. 
Fusion energy scientists claim that tokamaks are the leading plasma confinement concept for future fusion power plants. In a tokamak, magnetic field coils confine plasma particles to allow the plasma to achieve the conditions necessary for fusion. The heart of a tokamak is a donut-shaped vacuum chamber. Within the chamber, gaseous hydrogen fuel is placed under extreme heat and pressure, turning into plasma. A plasma is a hot, electrically charged gas. Scientists can control the charged particles of the plasma using massive magnetic coils placed around the chamber. Tokamak is a Russian acronym that stands for toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. The control is necessary to keep the plasma away from the chamber's walls. This is because contact between electrically charged plasma and the reactor walls could cause a near-instantaneous meltdown. A powerful electrical current is run through the vessel, and the gaseous hydrogen fuel becomes ionized. That is, electrons are stripped from the nuclei and form a plasma. As the plasma particles become energized and collide, they also heat up. Additional heating methods help bring the plasma to fusion temperatures between 150 and 300 million degrees Celsius. The particles become energized enough to overcome their natural electromagnetic repulsion on collision to fuse, releasing colossal energy. Hearing all these extreme temperatures, you may wonder if tokamaks are safe, but the reality is that the chamber in a modern-day tokamak typically contains less than one-tenth of a gram of hydrogen fuel at any given moment. Should a disruption occur during a pulse, the reaction immediately cools down and ends, meaning a nuclear explosion at a tokamak is not possible. In addition, the fusion process is inherently safe, but scientists are going the whole hog by building a range of other additional safety measures into fusion power plant designs, so even a cataclysmic breach in a tokamak would only create very low levels of radioactivity outside of the plant enclosure. One of the main stumbling blocks Chinese scientists had was how to handle a plasma that's hot enough to fuse. The thing is, fusion reactors need very high temperatures, which are often hotter than the sun because they practically have to work at much lower pressures than where fusion takes place inside the sun. It's one thing to cook plasma to temperatures hotter than the sun, but it's another thing to corral it so that it doesn't burn through the reactor walls with lasers or magnetic fields, which would have ruined the fusion process. China has spent a massive $700 billion on East and is on track to spend about half of that amount by the time it concludes the experiment in June. Meanwhile, East is a precursor to an even bigger fusion project known as ITER, the International Experimental Reactor being built in Marseille, France. The program involves 35 countries, made up of countries of the EU, the UK, China, India, and the US. Thanks to the lessons learned during EAST's development, the ITER contains the world's most powerful magnet, making it capable of producing a magnetic field 280,000 times as strong as the one around the Earth. ITER designers claim that putting 50 megawatts of energy into the system to start the reactor will produce 500 megawatts. The internal volume of the ITER tokamak is record-setting, having a plasma volume of 830 cubic meters. The maximum plasma volume in tokamaks operating is 100 cubic meters. ITER's huge plasma volume will enable it to produce, for the first time, a burning plasma, in which the majority of the heating needed to sustain the fusion reaction is produced by the alpha particles generated during the fusion process itself. The production and control of such a self-heated plasma has been the goal of magnetic fusion research for more than 50 years. The fusion reactor will come online in 2025, giving scientists even more insights into the practicalities of harnessing star power on Earth. In theory, deuterium, which contains heavy hydrogen atoms, can be obtained from Earth's oceans. One liter of seawater is estimated to have enough fusion material to produce energy equivalent to 300 liters of gasoline, so we can get an unlimited supply of energy from China's artificial sun. China is not stopping at East, as it is running other programs that develop nuclear fusion power and will finish developing another tokamak early in the 2030s. Let's hear what you think of China's artificial sun in the comments section below.